businessman and former Hawaii state legislator Cam Cavasso told One American News he will fight to repeal the 1920 Jones Act, a law he said enriches a very small U.S. shipping and shipbuilding industry at the expense of Hawaiians. The Jones Act forces uh, shipping to be manufactured by uh, American manufacturers. It forces us to use American ships, American um, crews, and it disallows competitive shipping from other parts of the world. It's a government program, government control, and we need to allow free enterprise to work again in the islands. President Woodrow Wilson signed the Merchant Marine Act less than two years after the end of World War I. The bill was called the Jones Act in honor of Washington Republican Senator Wesley Jones, who authored and sponsored it. The act seeks to sustain an American shipping industry. The Jones Act was a response to the lessons learned after the Great War when the American Merchant Marine Fleet was critical to the war effort, moving men and materiel to the U.S. for the fight in France. Colin Grabo is a policy analyst at the Washington-based Cato Institute. He said the Jones Act is outdated and unfair. So in 2018, uh, there is a global market for purchasing ships. However, Americans, if they want to transport cargo between two U.S. ports, they cannot buy a foreign-made ship. Other competing modes of transportation have none of the same restrictions, he said. American Airlines can buy an Airbus if they want to. You can buy foreign-built trucks, but you cannot buy a foreign-built ship. Grabo said he heard how it is cheaper for Hawaiian ranchers to fly their cattle to slaughterhouses on the West Coast instead of putting them on ships. The Hawaiian Electric Company said they import five times more oil from Vietnam than from Alaska despite the closer proximity. Cavasso said he understands the powerful interests are committed to protecting the Jones Act, but he is committed to taking them on. And it's forcing a cost of living on Hawaii that's probably increasing our cost of living somewhere between 15 and 30 percent. It's not good for Hawaii. It's not good for our groceries. It's not good for our families. It's not good for our businesses. It ra raises the cost of business, milk, fuel, meat, everything significantly and it's destructive to Hawaii. Cavasso is running for an open seat because the Democratic incumbent, Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa, is running for governor. The former Army officer said that he came to Washington to tell Republican leaders he can win, and he is telling the voters of Hawaii that if he does win, he is gunning for the Jones Act. Neil W. McCabe, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.